and beautiful people are. Peace and love, assalamu alaikum. I have to tell you that I will have to, I will talk to you before I have to tell you. Very impressed to see so many people here today. Listen. I feel like the Rolling Stones must have felt three weeks ago in Havana when they sang before a million people. I was one of them. So many of them. I think they're the biggest crowd I ever had. Certainly the biggest, the smartest crowd I ever had. <laughs> and the other clarification is I have to change the style. I can't normally, I know me when I, when I talk, right? But this time, this time we're trying to work well. Thing with the screen and put up images and songs and so and my assistant tell me I have to follow your script so otherwise I don't know when to put up a screen and so, so I have to read so you will excuse me. And then my final word of introduction is this that I have to clarify my position here. The union invited me to speak to you even before the leader of the opposition asked me to be his representative. And then you are invited, both parties to send a representative. And unfortunately, in my view, the leader of the opposition said, well, let me be his representative, because I had agreed to be his representative, as I think the MC said, in meetings with Guatemala and so on. However, there are things that you want to know from the opposition, which I asked him about, and I'm authorized to say on his behalf. Because I have my own established views on the subject, which are not necessarily shared by the EUP, a party that I used to belong to, but I left in 1985. And in particular, I need to state that my position that we should submit the claim to the ICJ is not the position of the Rather, that party has that question under review so that what I say about that does not represent the views of the PUP. But Ms. Keisha, or Ms. Keisha, does she have the right to me? Ms. Keisha said me she want to hear what the leader of the opposition position is on clear. So I ask him, on the issue of national unity, he has met with the Prime Minister and they have agreed to treat this matter as a national unity subject above party politics. On the opposition's plan for sensitizing the nation, he plans to carry out an awareness campaign to all ranks of the party and then present a united position to the country and also join in a general united campaign to conduct an awareness lifting in the country. He asked me to tell you that that awareness thing started yesterday among the national executive and I believe it will go to the council and then to the wider party and so on and so on and so on. And also that he has formed a committee of former foreign ministers under PUP administrations which is headed by the former prime minister who was also a former foreign minister, Saeed Musa. And that committee is working hard to advise him and the party on how to move forward. And finally, on the role he sees for the BNTU, he thinks it's of overwhelming importance and is proud that you have undertaken to conduct your stand up for the needs campaign. Now, I start to do what I do best start to accept it and tell you what I think in my own way. I have decided to call my presentation. It's a long road, it's a snaky and narrow way. I was coming here and I noticed a son that Delta will be out in the open. I said, I'll place a phone call up there to make one cloud pass from that son. So we'll go sit. But I don't know if you sit up. But it okay, that's what it says. And it has a map of part of the leaves and it shows a red line running under the Sarsun Island in the Sarsun River. That is an official map, which I'll talk about later. Now when I say staking, I don't only mean it, I don't only mean it in the sense of twisting and turning type of sneaky thing, but also like sneaky, deceptive, treacherous, as in this stuff. 
Ken Ho, a great blue singer from the US of A. Now, sometimes we get things wrong. On two occasions, the lesions rioted for days because they thought, they thought the country was in danger of losing something to Guatemala. And we were not in danger. And on one occasion, when we were in danger of losing large areas of our territorial seas to Guatemala, nobody right. <laughs> I won't go into detail because it was very polemical, very controversial, and I would guess that 99% of you would disagree with me. But some other time I can talk and I can defend my views and you defend yours. The first two I'm referring to are the Webster proposals and the Heads of Agreement. And the other one was the original Maritime Areas Bill that leaders of both parties went around the country promoting. I believe that right now we're in a place where we do have a danger of losing something to Guatemala. And that we need, as a people, to do something about it. When? Before now. Sometimes you need to do what they call right. Indeed, I was forcibly grabbed by the police and locked up in London years ago for rioting against the US war in Vietnam. But I don't think we need to riot now. We need to think. We need to unite. We need to act. Yesterday I spoke to lawyers and I talked about law. Today I'm talking to teachers and I'll talk about education and culture. At that lawyer's meeting, I questioned him what a lawyer said about something and he said to me, I'm a lawyer, I don't lie. <laughs>
So said Colonel Manuel Cano Madrazo, the Guatemalan Boundary Commissioner, who signed the map of 13th of May 1861, saying the line of it, drawn in red, below the South Island was correct. That map is attached to the 1859 at the National Archives in London. And Guatemalan governments have respected that line since then. The British have published maps many times, right through the 1970s, with that line under the island, and the Guatemalan government has never <coughs> protested against them. <coughs> now, quite recently, they have begun to say that the whole river is here that they were the search sovereignty over it. And now they have the God to say protocols exist that don't exist. That their new version of reality is the status quo. Like the Israelis do in Palestine. They are trying to establish facts on the ground, as they call it. Facts on the ground, by force. Expecting that these so-called facts will be internationally recognized after a time. Those are not friendly acts. And if I were